temperature-based flow profiling. This video will show how to estimate the flow profile from a gas-producing well based on DTS data only. Start from a file that contains a loaded DTS array, perforations, and reservoir zones. Right-clicking on the array view and selecting Explore, traces can be selected directly at different times or, alternatively, picked manually at an exact time. See how the temperature evolution correlates to rate change. The last trace is during shut-in, and it indicates cross-flow between two layers. Click on Copy Traces on Exit. Now enter the surface rates. Analysis of a temperature trace will be made while the well was producing approximately 1 million standard cubic feet per day. Create a new interpretation. The interpretation type is Classic with Thermal Model. This means PL data can be input of the interpretation. However, the model and match will be on the temperature response. The method is set to continuous automatically. The model is initialized based on surface rates and inflow types. There are no spinners, just temperature traces. Select one trace as the input temperature. Pressure is not required as Emerald will calculate it based on the PVT and a friction pressure gradient. Setting the flowing conditions as producing, Emerald will use the energy model to match the temperature and simulate the flow profile. The heat loss coefficient is calculated based on the geometry and thermal conductivity of the pipe and cement. Note that it is possible to consider radiation, relevant in high temperature and annular convection. Create the geothermal temperature manually from knowledge of the reference depth, temperature, and gradient. Later we will show how the geothermal gradient can be defined from a temperature curve. As mentioned before, Emerald can calculate the flowing pressure based on a user input of reservoir or sand face pressure. Now enter the rock thermal conductivity. The energy equations are solved under steady state conditions. However, if the flow is assumed to be steady state, we can consider transient behavior of the heat flux throughout corrective terms applied to conduction and to convection separately. As previously stated, it is possible to modify or redefine the geothermal gradient interactively from the Edit QAQC tab. Now define the PVT properties, in this case, as a dry gas producer. In addition to gas gravity, it is important to input the thermal properties of the fluids. Note that the selection of the PVT correlation will have a large impact on the final results since the thermal expansion coefficients and other properties used for thermal modeling are based on these. Click on Inflow. Defining rate calculation zones has no impact here, since the continuous method is being used. Go to the Temperature tab. It is the same as the tab found in the Interpretation Settings window. The energy model needs to solve for temperature and mass transfer in the reservoir and well bore. The mass transfer in the reservoir is defined by the Darcy equation. So the skin, permeability, and other reservoir parameters are required as inputs.
Now go to the Contributions window. Since the surface rates are measured and trusted, they may be used to constrain the regression and may be assigned a higher weighting. After clicking General Schematic, Emerald will split the total production evenly across the three inflow zones. Clearly, the model temperature is not matching the DTS input. Now click on Global Improve. Although, as the solution is iterative, more than one click may be needed to converge to a stable solution. The production profile is now generated, and the QZT and QZI plots are shown here as is the simulated flowing pressure. Going to the results table, see that as well as the zone rates, Emerald estimates the pressure drop due to skin and the total Joule Thomson cooling. This concludes this video on Emerald temperature based flow profiling.